In Fort Atkinson today, one family got the news they never wanted to hear. Their son, a Marine, had been killed in Afghanistan. The night team's David Douglas joining us from the news center with more on the 20-year-old and how he's being remembered tonight. David? Eric Lance Corporal Jacob Miner, known as Jake to friends, died yesterday supporting combat operations in Helmand Province. That's southern Afghanistan, one of the country's most dangerous regions. He joined the armed services out of high school, and his contributions won't soon be forgotten. I feel sorry for the family. I, I couldn't fathom of what they're going through right now. Flags outside the filling station bar in Fort Atkinson hang as a show of solidarity for every service member overseas. It's sad. You worry every day that something's going to happen to them and that they won't come home. Terry Morris and daughter Tara Fury did not know Marine Lance Corporal Jacob Minert, but didn't have to. Their husband and father, Army Master Sergeant James Morris, is serving in Iraq. They say whether you're Marine, Navy, Air Force, or Army, they call it the color purple, and we're all one big family, and my heart does go out to that family for what they're going through right now. I mean, seriously, my deepest condolences go to that family. Jacob invested a lot of his time and his efforts in our music department. Um, uh, I can recall him being part of our pep band and having a good time being there and playing. Jeff Zaspel is principal at Fort Atkinson High School, where Minert graduated in 2007. It wasn't that long ago that he was here visiting a little bit, and um, it's, it's just really a shock for us. And a shock for everyone in a small city where, for many, country comes first. When things like this happen, it just, you think about how you would deal with it, and it's, it's scary. I don't know how anybody could go through it. And Minert's mother tells me tonight the family isn't ready to talk about their loss, understandably, but is obviously devastated. Funeral services, Eric, will be held sometime next week. And David, we understand he was stationed in Hawaii, is that correct? Yes, at Kaneohe Bay in Hawaii, and he was with the 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force there. All right, the night team's David Douglas reporting tonight. David, thank you very much.